Let's recall the meeting, uh, order the meeting for our Conservation Commission for October 14, 2015. We take a look at the, uh, just, we're being audio taped, uh, and videotaped. Did I have a uh, significant release for the candle? It crayon that color. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a 17 Kim Phillips trail. Will you be needing that? Yep. Okay, there you go. All right, guys. We, uh, <coughs> we have to vote on a certificate of release for 25 Campbell Street. They had a an order of conditions that was out years and years ago that uh, was recorded at the registry, but uh, I guess are they passing papers on the home or something? Yeah. Selling the home, so they need a release. We have no records of anything being. Uh, Can we do the last or is this a new one? It's a new one. It happens all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're passing. This is the Office of Judicial Order Septic System from probably 20 years ago or so. This is Kevin Roach's property. Oh. Over here on Campbell Street. So Janet's reviewed this and uh, she finds it acceptable for us to. Uh, Sign this off. Okay. So, that respect, we we'll take a motion to approve the certificate of release. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Oh, yeah, here, grab this. I left the little stack. I have plans for Together. Chair, did they give you a copy of the uh, the orders that were recorded on the deed? Is this it here? Is this for um? This is for Roach. Roach. I see a registry. Yeah, that was because uh, he had Paul Cutler do that. So we took a request for yeah, We just don't have a copy of the actual. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's just for the future, if we don't have a copy of a an order of conditions that's recorded, they should print those and pass the copy out so we have it for the file anyway in the future, you know? But no, it's not in there. That's just a view. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You give us yeah. everything but right. so okay. that being said, if this thing signed, you can have this package back. Did everybody sign this? Yep. So I think where is the walk You walk it over? Here's the, the, here's the rest of the rest of the paperwork that goes with that. Unit. I'm sorry, right here, Mr. Littleton. It was with the form. I'm sorry. Oh, you do have a copy. Yeah. Super. Okay. I thought I did. No, he was nice enough to bring that in. That makes the file complete. Fizzles. Okay, so that's all set. Good. Next order of business, we have a uh, request for extension for Bruce Johnson for 7 uh, King Phillip Trail. This has been going on for a few years now. He's doing miscellaneous work down there. Uh, that's actually right near Campbell Street, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's he looking for, three years, Janet? Yeah, right. He said he might be done in six months. I said, do three years, so if things get delayed, you don't have to keep running back here. Okay. You know, you get it done, you get it done, you get your final paperwork. What the hell is he doing that's taking so long? We have nothing to execute on this, do we? On this? For that one, you've got that front form to sign. At the bottom, it just says the black box. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy that lives on the lake that was right. adding yeah. to his deck the, or something. The deck yeah. that was yeah. coming yeah. down. Yeah. And could he yeah. cut down the trees on the lake and 
So would someone like to make a motion to uh, offer an extension to the orders of condition for 17 King Philip Trail? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there a limit on how long we can extend these things? No. no, as long as conditions haven't changed in the area, and a lot of them are in process, then it's okay. Especially with an economy like we've had, so. Yeah. We have one set of minutes. The ones in here? One set. You got one voucher for wetland strategies, correct? No, I didn't do you that. Don't. Up. Okay, so we don't need that. Uh, no, the uh, the minutes are for September 9th. <laughs> They're in No, <clears throat> when people leave their folders, I just throw them in the drawer and then pull them out. All right. That might be the minutes to oh. your. Okay. Probably was in there from before. Please emailed. Did you read them? They were emailed, right? Anything that went, it's been emailed has been read. Okay, Spike. Please emailed? Yeah. Oof. Oh, cow. Down. That's my phone. Put it by Julie. Of course. Scooby dooby doo. The, um, what's the original or a copy? I don't know. Do you know, Janet? Don't know. It's the original. Huh? It's the original. I'll just sign up on that. Is that the minutes? Yeah. Oh, well, we got to take a vote. If you on sign it, it'll be the original. All right, then we'll take okay. a vote. We'll <laughs> take a vote on it first. Just want to make sure. You're ready to go. Always. Moss on my, me, me, Has anybody heard from Joyce in the past month? I talked to her a couple weeks ago. She's having some issues so, with their extended family, so mm -hmm. we won't go into it. So she's got a lot to do in the evenings. Is this anything new? Nothing new, status quo? No, it's with her offspring mm -hmm. and their offspring. Mm hmm. Couldn't imagine. 
three million years. She's 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 doing a wonderful thing. Put it that way. She is. Yes. This is very kind. Very unexpected, oh. not necessarily fair. Where'd you get that? Um, what's it called? I don't know. I can't reach a present. Why? Why am I blanking? Not me. Nikki's in downtown Wolfville. No, right on one A, right there. Where? Junior. What? Leo's? Rico's? Horse and carriage, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Everybody else has a minute? Yep. Now we look at I don't see any. I'm not at the Thoros, so. though. You can make the motion. I make a motion to accept the minutes of the meeting from September 9th, 2015. With no additions. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we're all set with the minutes. I know that cheese pizza. Really? Good. 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 Can't eat mammal. Including whale at So far, I know. Yeah. I had whale at my wedding and one bite got super sad. Whale? Mm -hmm. Is that a good mammal? It is. I didn't realize it was a mammal. I see. Okay. Fish? Mm -mm. No, I knew the whale was a mammal, but I didn't know how it would affect me because I had never had it. So I took one bite to try it. So was your wedding right? Mm-hmm. So you were kind of a useless then, I was very sick. <laughs> <laughs> very, very sick. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Four husbands. Luckily, I took the honeymoon before the wedding. So there you go. It's actually a great way to do it. Mr. Weddleton, mm -hmm. um, if people could decide when they're going to have the next meeting, so if we continue stuff, what, what do we have? Remember, normally we would have been, uh, I think, 11-11, like but that's the uh, Veterans Day. For the next meeting, yes, sir. we have 11-11, but that is Veterans Day. Right. And the following Tuesday is Fall Town Meeting, which is definitely not going to I two days as long as they days. pulled the salt wood. Oh, they pulled salt wood out of it? Yeah. yeah. And there's a calendar right there behind uh, Michelle on the wall. So you want to shoot for the 18th? So, what's that? You want to shoot for the 18th? Yeah, I think that's uh, a safe bet. Why don't we do it and if uh, things it's happen, it's we can always cancel. It's not going to be too, too Yeah, we'll always cancel it, but you know. So why don't we do it the 18th of November? The third? Third Wednesday. Third, okay. Because Patrick, you had thrown out about the first Wednesday. I said something about the fourth. Right. I was drinking that night, though. Oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> Tea. There you go. Name a night is not. Turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I was at home and she emailed me. <laughs> um, so you dock my pay? That's up to you, but the 18th, is that what we're... Because yep. if town meeting goes two nights. It's never going to. There's only oh, seven warrant articles. Well, most of them are automatic. Yeah, okay. The only big one is the funding for the... Uh, so there'll be no one there. Yeah. Like, like 30 yeah. people at the meeting. Um, yeah. So 18th. And they were supposed to have advisory tonight, and I guess it got canceled. Really? Why? I don't know. Because we were supposed to be bumped upstairs. <laughs> oh, Amy. Oh. Amy, do we know why the meeting, advisory meeting got canceled? I have no idea. Okay. No. Was the meeting tonight on Southwood? I'm sorry? Was there, if the meeting was on Southwood, then they would have canceled it because Southwood was pulled from the warrant. And I don't know. Yeah. That. No, I think, um, I don't know if it was off Southwood. I think it was just on the warrant in general. Was, was it? But I could be wrong. 
Why do you get pulled? We have a lot of folks that aren't showing. John, do you know why I got pulled? What's that? Do you know why I got pulled? Yeah. We had a bunch of us looking at the contract of the term. I'm trying to find out this guy didn't have the money for the deposit. The contract left us not guaranteed to get our money. He wanted to pass in four years. They let him get away without testing and come to find out that the units they thought weren't going to be nearly rich because the land was so bad brick-wise. Just a joke. He was there to flim flam with no money and he's going to try to sell it. Uh, yeah. Well, he empty shirt. He was going to go there and then assign the rights and never go to a closer. And of course, the uh, the contract by town council never mentioned assignees or, or uh, future parties, which means that if he signed his rights, we wouldn't have got the million dollars of closing because he never would have closed. And the impact fees that we're supposed to get that came to 2.8 million are not allowed to be put in zoning. And again, with this agreement, with the developer, if he wasn't there, no one else is bound to the agreement. Please. It was just and a night you wouldn't believe. Is. I don't know, but your friend picked it up. Isn't that cool? One year legal contract law and two town councils missed it too. Wow. Mind boggling. It's it's mind boggling. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that That's amazing. He won't be coming back. I don't think he, he finally said, well, I wasn't going to pass for four years. I didn't have the money for the deposit. This is, this is the guy from New Jersey, right? Yeah, Mr. Big Show. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I had a funny thing, huh? <laughs> you see him on reality shows. Right? Very likable. Selling Eskimo and ice cream. Middle of the sun still. All one over. And the guy was going to sit there. Once the money was done, he did no work, no testing, no lit, nothing. Once the money was done, he's going to freaking assign it, get his, his cut, and go. Because the testing was done. Did anyone ask for a different attorney from our. I did. I asked him to get a pro with Bruce and stores it, and he does this for a living. Uh, maybe now they will. Wow. Yeah. I'm just shocked that was missed. That's amazing to me. Nothing shocks me after being a volunteer for 10 years. It makes you never want to have your taxes raised because, believe me, you never know what you're spending. But you know, we have to give you, you aren't getting any more, you have to supply all of your children. You know what I mean? And that's why people never go over. You know what trust what they do with the money. And if you're already involved in it, some of these contracts, you see, it's just, it's astonishing. You know what the most awesome is? What? Most awesome I understand. And when you get to the federal, it's even more, it's our state, it's even more. The bigger, the more paper, the yeah. more no one reads it. Yeah. No one really. No one reads it. No one cares because it's not their money. Just compromise myself with our next raise or election or whatever. It's amazing. It's absolutely stunning. Last night's TV show is a perfect example of that. We start off with the public safety. I couldn't find that on TV anywhere. What? What channel was it made on? Communist News. CNN. Okay. Uh, we're ready. I think we're uh, all set for the Seacock folks. Continue public hearing. <coughs> <clears throat> Good evening. Hello. Hello. Um, Please. We've got a big plan here. The binoculars. Yeah, we, 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 got, we got one here as well, so. There's good. At last, I, I, Lisa, right? At, la at last we talked, I guess that Lenore sent this, this memo to you <clears throat> with a few concerns, and that was it. And was it you answered them? Was that it? Right. Because she has not reviewed them or got back to us yet. So we're. Right. When I did you actually send her your your? Uh, actually, you should have sent the office the re the responses, right? Or did you send a response formally? Revised plan once the engineer got it to me, and I outlined what 
was revised, which we knew. Um, is that the September 24th plan? Is that the most current plan? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And this is the one she did look at and had a few re remaining comments. Right. right. So, um, so, since the meeting, last meeting, we, we removed any. Right, but just let me let me get this the, the time frame down. So sure. she sent these final comments in this memo dated October sixth. Right. Did you formally send her in the in the in the commission's office an answer to these? No. So there's nothing in writing. I didn't formally. Um, Tracy submitted submitted the plans to the commission. Which plans? The plans responding to. The well, do we isn't September twenty fourth the latest plan? Correct. But this memo has got comments on October sixth on that plan, so we're we're looking for the answer to these comments. Right. So and that's when we would try to get her today. We could, and so okay. so we've had no formal response to these four comments. Well, yes, we have. We are responding. No, we, we haven't had a formal response in writing, so she's got nothing to review. Uh, we don't believe there's any more changes that need to be made to the plan. We've, if we want to make any other changes, we'll make them. Well, I'm, ju I'm, just trying to, <laughs> I'm just trying to get the arena set. Because her, basically her um, point that the boundary between the proposed mitigation area and the grass driveway be staked or otherwise marked for the permanent protection the owners are planning to do that and have started to state that line. Um, and the second point where she has the plan proposed to include the existing grass driveway by replacing the existing material with bank gravel, that's been called out. I think she must have missed that it was point called out on here. Um, it's just the area of the trench the bank gravel is for. Everything else is grass? Right. Except for the entry, the area leaving the garage, going out to the grass driveway. The proposed gravel driveway, the straight end? <laughs> Coming right out of the garage. That is gravel. Yes. Correct. yes. And the rest is all grass until you hit the trench where the engineer suggested the six, um, the bay gravel appropriate. It is called out on you. What's that? These, also. these are the same. They're just smaller if you want copies. Let me get the big one. Are these updated? Are these different from that? No. 924. Do you just mark or point with your finger where is it the the part with the green lines going sideways? The twelve outs, yes. That's gonna be the gravel? Yes. Big gravel. Yes. And then this call out for the grass cut path is across. <coughs> you didn't have any room over here, so you called it out. Yeah, you didn't have any room over here, so you called it out across. And it's also lab labeled grass driveway. Just because this one, this is one of them that they colored up. So just to make sure I'm so the someone is grass and right. the other stuff is gravel. Right, only where the trench is is, is where gra gravel, gravel, gravel is. Oh, that's gravel. 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 And then that's gravel. grass again. Right. Okay. 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 okay, that's clear. This is the other one I was getting gravel. lost with. This is gravel. So this is all gravel. Right. That's the grass. Correct. Okay. Oh, see, theirs is different, too. Their whole thing, that's where people are getting confused. Their whole thing's colored. Mr. Wellington, if you swap with this one, it might be a little clearer. Somebody had too much fun coloring. See, it's green for grass, gravel, green for grass, oh, that's good. gravel. No, this plan yeah. just doesn't show. Yeah. Okay. Just right. so you can have that reference. I have another. Okay. I'll leave it right here. I have one that wasn't even colored, so. Color's good. Then Lenora's third point was she would like, she didn't know if we had submitted anything responding to the agricultural use of the property. Um, so the 
Sarah, race. I'm comfortable that I know the folks that used to do this, and I'm comfortable that this has been hate for years. And so I, I really, I had mentioned last week, I don't need any backup for that. That's fine. Thank you. And the stamp, and the stamp, this yeah. this plan has got original stamp. I hope so. The only, I'll leave it to the commission whether they want to ask for Lenore's response, but on the first thing, we can't put stakes in because they're removable. Yeah. Or question, do you have any boulders on your site? I understand that that's the best that's the hard hard stone and some wood. Right, but this doesn't this doesn't Chris, this doesn't have to be a full stone wall. All you gotta do is radically place boulders. I don't care if they're fifteen, eighteen feet apart, just to let people know that that's demarcation. A a wood stake you can just pull out. So if you've got boulders and you just line that with that, we allow that as one of the ways to demark. And it's relatively inexpensive as long as you've got some on your site, you know? I think we did. I, there's, there's no comments on here uh, that weren't, so I think you looked at that, right? The permanent area there for the mitigation? They, that's when you were talking about doing, leaving the part down below. Natural. Where, yeah. Right. right. So, yeah, then we're basically put it that the area is 3,109 square feet. You know, it is to be remain remain in perpetuity as is. Yeah, right. I think we're I think all fine with that. Actually, going to leave a bit more right, than yeah. that, yeah. and they have boulders at the south end. Um, yeah, that's fine. I, I unless anybody else has objection, I I think the area demarked with boulders is fine. Everything else, uh, I don't see any need to have Lenore review this or speak with you. Uh, Anybody else have any comments on these last four items on this uh, memorandum? Didn't have any. Print. What's the date on that? This is October 6th. I haven't seen that. I don't have that one. What's that? The only two oh, that I have. You want to take a look at that? Yeah. These are the last few items that she, she reviewed from this latest plan. So. Comments, Patrick. Nope. Saw that I saw that when it came out last week. Is there a balance in the consultant uh, yeah, that's account that's well, due? Yeah. Um, they already that's turned over to me this evening, so okay. I mean it might be extra, but um, that's why that um, first vulture wasn't done because there wasn't enough money in there to pay that. Okay, so. But that's up to date. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that all set. All right, if Lenore yeah. not doesn't need any more review, then that should be it. Yeah. Okay. Can I just ask clarification only, because I'm the one who does the paperwork. So for her number one, the whole thing about the stakes of the boulders so many feet apart, can you just point, is that is that along like the grass driveway, because he's got the boulders here, right. are they talking about something along here? Yes, this is oh, what the right. chairman was just speaking about, yeah, no like cut something mold. right here too. Okay. Okay. Okay, just so we all and I have the, the right. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. So it would be uh, just yeah, east right. of the driveway. Just put them close enough, Chris, so that when you slide off your driveway, you can hurt your car in the boulder, okay? <laughs> uh, any other questions? Janet, you all set? I think, I don't want to say that. <laughs> what would we do without having them in the I, know, I, I uh, Many other things, many other things. Uh, clear the, the for... Because it went back and forth for a while, um, and I, sorry, I haven't read this, but one of them was saying, just so I understand, you're going to be taking out that pipe, doing the utilities or whatever, and putting the pipe back at the same elevation, Correct. right? That's the plan. Okay. Uh, and I think, um, so all this has been squared away, right? right. And we got mitigation and... Is anybody here in the audience for this uh, hearing? Thank God. All right. Uh, that being said, I'll do a motion to close the public hearing for 47 Seacong Street. So moved. Second. Mm. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. We're there. Lisa, you did a good job. Thank you. Tracy, everybody. Thank you. Is the house almost up? I don't know. Is it? All right. It's going to snow. It's going to snow soon.
Yeah, he's going again, right? Mm. Hopefully not. Right, good luck, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, leave them, Lisa. Why not? Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Chris, thank, thank you. you. See you later. Tracy? I had black hair when this hearing started. Oh. Yeah, Grisha? <laughs> yeah. We don't have to do that anymore, do we? Sure. Yeah. 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 So, we were supposed to be, I didn't even know we were supposed to be upstairs earlier. Doug, you got somebody here uh, with you? I think we're Hey, what's your first name again? I can't see who's going to be in here. Donnie? Donnie. All right, Donnie. Upstairs is comfortable. I heard we got good news, Don. I've never been up there once. I hope so. The wetlands that you thought were there aren't there. That's correct. Yeah? Nevertheless, we took the retopo and the whole area there. There's that low spot's about 500 square feet. Interesting. All right. Yeah, John Glosser would call the office, so the system now, I guess, works out much better even, right? <coughs> you went parallel to the road? Yeah, I'm yeah. a little uh, It's actually, that would have been the preferred place. Except we'll originally try and get, you know, not that area. Right. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We have one over here, you don't have to ring oh, I didn't have to ask She left it behind for you. Hide it, hide it, hide it. We've got a few more minutes. No, you're on, but close enough. Close enough? You're on. So I reckon uh, Don Seabird with Glosser Engineering here with Doug Pearl on uh, 9 Spring Street. So we went back out, we took up that area in the back, and uh, basically the, the little low spot or whatever is this 163 contour that comes around. There's another one that wraps around this way. Uh, and we can get the uh, one spot that's about half a foot. This is 500 feet. Mr. Wilton. So it would overpop. Yes, those are. And uh, we'll get it. Well, it's 500 feet. They got it. Uh, we twisted the system, got it over the test bits that they uh, really would have preferred to do. The old plan? Uh, it feels good the new one there. Added the uh, additional test bit data for what they would have. I also you know, scaled on as, as best I could the uh, restricted restricted wetland area, which does actually come onto the site. And you can see it's just it nips it in this corner right here. Uh, systems passed it. Uh, they talked to Janet. She had asked us to uh, just kick back the. Uh, Erosion control around the system to keep everything out of the uh, 50 foot buffer. She also asked if we could uh, designate a compost area, which we did with that. How many square feet do you get of disturbance in the 50 to 100? It's uh, 375. Is it, on the is it on the plan, the number? It's not on the plan, no. I just. Uh, right, you should put those things on the plan for future use, but for now, Jen, you want to pencil it, pen it in yeah, on the plan? Like that. Yeah. All right. And you're proposing for mitigation, Don? We weren't really proposing any mitigation. Uh -huh. We had talked to and she that maybe if we just did the compost area or anything, we could, uh, if we really needed it, we could do something. Yeah. Well, but the check with the commission, yeah. you know. Yeah, she really doesn't have any say, yeah, you know, know, and we may. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm running teasing you. Right, it's late. Uh, you're moving out the leach field of the front yard, and normally in these situations, we count that as mitigation just by taking the leach field out, so you're good. Yeah. You don't have to bring any trees. Okay. Uh, Janet also asked about the number of trees that we have to take down. It's, a, it's like six trees. This one is questionable, but there's six mature trees in the back here that we have to come down. Okay. And the grade works out pretty good, huh? The, the grade works out okay. We yeah. do have to raise it a little bit. Not much. It's just because of the water table. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm fine with this. Anybody have any questions? Looks good to me. Nope. Janet, any other questions? No, that's a, we tried to whittle away whatever we could, but that's what I had said to them, bring it to the commission right. because they're the ones who go and decide and everything. So, um, and, you know, compared to where we started from. Well, it turns out to be easy awesome. enough. Just going to do the field work, that's all. Yep. Uh, motion to close the public hearing for? Nine Spring, Nine Spring Street. Street. Yep. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You guys all set? Aye. Aye. No fun. Thank you. Uh, we have a question. Uh, That's the whole agenda for the uh, Just like uh, yeah, uh, you have to, are you going to be able to do the uh, order conditions tonight or does it have to come back? Uh, they, uh, you do not have to come back. No. We picked but up, right? They're not, are they written up? <laughs> yep. You know, you're getting um, pushy done. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> oh, I can still I, reopen the hearing. <laughs> No, hang on for one second. These are spares. Uh, I think we got to reschedule them Those for January now. For the um, attachment A, but I did do up a full form just in case because I never know you people. Well, we'll uh, vote and sign this. You could pick it up at the office uh, tomorrow. And just call tomorrow. You can call tomorrow. Pick up the original. It has to be recorded at the registry and the recording information brought back to the office. Okay. I mean, still have, to make I have a meeting uh, here at three o'clock. So yeah. No, that's yeah. fine. No, no, that's fine because yeah. I have to. I mean, make you can proceed at your own peril. Yeah. No, I just didn't know if he, he was going to come back for another. No, no, no. That's no, it. No. No. He can pick up his uh, original copy tomorrow. We'll board on this right now, and then you'll be all set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these were some. Thank you very much. All right, yep, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. yeah, and there's a couple more spares of yeah, attachment there any A. Any special conditions even in this? Probably not, I right? I don't remember, um, and because I wasn't sure too no, where we no. would end up with the engagement. Like well, Should I come by before the tree? No, but in the morning I usually get the forms, make the copies, print the names, get everything set. So they're usually lined up on the street counter. So whenever you come by, we just take more than that. But that is This is all just boilerplate stuff. That's all. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. You know, with them uh, putting on that inland restricted wetland, because that, um, kind of like, however you call it, rock, scissor, paper, and who was on top, but <coughs> inland restricted, you can't touch. Mm -hmm. um, and I think with years of people throwing clippings and everything else out there, it's hard to see exactly where that wetland line is. So I think if you look that inland restricted, I think that's why you ended up with an isolated vegetated wetland. So once you do that inland restricted, you're not arguing about where's the wetland line. It, it basically sucked up most of that inland restricted. With them turning their system, you know, there was no, we have to fill part and make more or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, in a couple places, when you watch their erosion controls, they gave them so, so much room. But it's like, you guys, if you pull it up, it'll get you totally out of that zero to 50, which is a red alert for everybody, you know. And, and same thing for people have somewhere to put all those clippings maybe you know you can hope but and, and just mark down trees but for whatever else the commission i don't you know they hadn't i don't think they had given me a number yet for so 375 isn't bad at all you know on the big scale of things here all right motion to approve if anybody's interested nine spring street or is the condition so moved second second all in favor aye aye you sign this up then so that's a motion to approve the order condition separate from the motion to close? Yes. Yes. Okay. And who motioned it? And second? She voted. 
<laughs> it's a team effort. <laughs> it's heavy lifting. Huh? It's heavy lifting. It is heavy lifting. Um, can we talk about our raise and pay now? Yeah, let's find what you want. Double. I want double what I'm getting now. Okay, you got it. Excellent. No, but if you could I'm still... I would give you whatever grade you wanted, dear. <laughs> Write out the letter and I'll sign it. Uh, we got the planning board last night at midnight. Torturous. What the heck this was oh, I don't know. We should finish up our stuff and then we can... Yeah, I, don't, I don't see much left. Do we have anything um, else here? To Dan needs to sign something, please. Oh. Yes, I do. Um, you close the hearing. I don't know if you want to vote or discuss no, special conditions for 47 Seekonk, so I can get that ready for the next like meeting. Crap. Or maybe you're denying 47 Seekonk. Oh. Well, you haven't written up orders yet, right, for Seekonk? Mm, I don't think so. Well, I think I would suggest that you write up the orders for St. Clark, I think. But are you going to be uh, approving an issuance of an order condition? Or I, do you think deny the project? No. Which is just are anybody order. interested in denying the project in 47 St. Clark? No. No. So no, we're going to be approving okay. that. Okay. And I think that after this last year, we probably have the conditions down pretty much to cover and plus ourselves. Plus, I've been right? just. I'm not yeah. getting lost doing the whole shit. I know, I figured that. So we trust you to write it up and then you can email it to us and uh, good enough. We'll we'll read it vote it in, okay? Yeah. I mean, we've seen enough of them. We should be on their Christmas card list. Yeah. Chris, the Rays are very nice people. They're very nice people. They no. were just caught in the middle, which is too bad. And FYI under correspondence, because I emailed that correspondence stuff to people with the agenda in the minutes, but that letter with 77 Rockwood Road. Um, it's just FYI, but that'll be coming through for an extension. He already he did up his little thing in the check. Is this the new house construction? Uh, that Stacy <coughs> Rockwood right. Road. Right. Stacey the one we Road. changed from having a driver that circumference yeah. the whole lot yeah. to just okay. Um, Has I, that been I, sold? I did the no, not they're not quite done yet. There. What are they coming in for then? Um, extension. Extension. It's been three years already. Yeah, they're. Oh, I know. Even I think counting the governor's huh? stuff. So, you know, it's like they're going to be. Yeah, this goes to Janet. Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Um, you know, it's one of those. They're just about done. You know, they need to do the grading or whatever. But right. it's like, yeah. if that if it's not stabilized, right. they're just yeah. going to do a partial. Yeah. But yeah. he actually thanked me. He's like, you're the first printer who's ever right. done any of the commissions that's actually notified us. And it's like, but anyway, so he did up the form. I've got the check, so that'll be on the next just for more time over there. Okay, good. I have. I have. I feel like I should wait if Trace ends up showing up at 8. But she probably won't, right? Because she didn't ask about the agenda or how long it was. No, I didn't I see any replies from her that she'd be here at all. She might have got a good, good goose at the agenda and figured she's not needed. Normally she just lets us know, though. Uh, pretty, yeah, that's pretty pretty good right. about that. Does anyone have a cell phone number? We can I just don't want to have text. to leave and have her come out of the uh, house and find her gone. No, no, no. This was, I think, just because I had everything together for going out and Amy put everything out and around, you know. Even at one point she got a little nervous, maybe the meeting before, but yeah, I about sending her the stuff and you know, she wouldn't be there and I said I just want to keep either. you in the loop, you know, for yeah. what's going on. But that's spam, spam, spam. And then I emailed that thing from Doug Williams. So oh, if people nice have special that. places right. just so they can I haven't called them yet. Motion to uh, adjourn. Second. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Make a motion. <laughs> I'm making to a motion to adjourn the meeting for tonight. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Amy, we're all set.